Step six is the employment goal page. This functions very similarly to the previous version. Once you select a career from the drop-down menu, you will automatically see the description of the career in Teal under the search for career box. This can add further discussion during the meeting on the career being chosen. When you click on the show more in the top right corner, you will see the narrative normally found on the employment page. Here are the links to the career clusters, ACP, and the career cluster pathway career master list. The additional information text boxes have an updated look but function the same. Just an FYI, the navigation buttons at the bottom of the screen include prior, save, undo, and next. These are more user-friendly as you navigate through the PTP application. Step seven is the independent living skills page. Just a reminder, when appropriate, the PTP must contain a post-secondary goal related to the independent living skills. There are no major changes to the function of this section. Step eight, annual goals objectives. Does the IEP contain at least one annual goal or short-term objective that will help the student make progress towards meeting all of the stated post-secondary goals? In order to be compliant, you will need to answer yes, and then you will see the link to, add, to the Add Goal button, which will allow you to add a goal from the I-4 page. In order to have a best practice PTP, we encourage you to copy over one of your goals from the I-4 page to this Add Goal section. This is not the time to create a new specific transition goal. This really is to be a goal taken from the student's IEP.